Mike, how, how's your wrist and, and how tough was that in the second half to kind of play through? Uh, it hurt. It was tough. I couldn't really flick it on my shot. That's why my two free throws were short. Uh, it hurt though. I gotta get an X ray, but you know, hopefully it's nothing serious. Chuck, when you see Mike hurting like that, what's your mentality and kind of what's the message to the rest of the uh, team? Keep going. You know, don't show the opponent that we're hurt. You know. Uh, <clears throat> you just got to keep striving because, you know, we, we want this win bad and we just got to get back in the lab, get back together and see what we can do for the rest of the Big 12. Yeah. Like with Baylor being number one, y'all having COVID, et cetera, a lot of people didn't give y'all any chance. I, I can tell on y'all's face, y'all felt like y'all had a chance. Just what does that say about this team? Uh, it shows we're resilient uh, coming off that long break. And I didn't play the last game before the break, so for me it was a month and everybody else it was about three weeks. So um, it was tough. Uh, nothing is good about taking that break, that COVID break, and you know coming off of it and playing the number one team, it was hard. But you know the first half, you know we played good. Uh, we didn't have that many turnovers, and they didn't shoot, they didn't make that many threes. The second half, uh, I don't think we had the same intensity, and they pulled away. But we definitely thought we could have won. I think it's as simple as the 18 day layoff just caught up to y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's the main reason. It's a lot of other things. Uh, we didn't defend that at our best. Uh, we rebounded pretty well, but on the defensive side, closing out on shooters, uh, we didn't do that well. You're going back to that first half when things started to click, that 14 nothing run. What was what was going right uh, during that run? Uh, energy was there. Guys were hitting shots. You know, uh, I think fatigue set in, set in, <clears throat> and that's what affected us. But um, as we keep going, you know, that's that's not going to be a factor anymore. You know. Coach Drew was just in here. He talked about you know, the difference he sees in this TCU squad this year. You're, you're bigger, more athletic. How is that going to play to an advantage for you guys in this Big 12 run? Uh, I feel like that's our main strength. You know, we have bigger, stronger wings this year, and that, and that shows in our rebounding. Um, and Eddie and, you know, our centers too. So we're definitely bigger, stronger, more athletic than last year. But, um, you know, we just got to go out there and do it for 40 minutes. Chuck, you, didn't, you guys didn't finish the way you wanted to with the win, but how much confidence does this – Give, maybe give you guys knowing that you could play with the number one team in the nation. Absolutely, but we knew from day one that we could play with anybody in the country. So um, we're taking this as just a loss because that's all it is. You know, we know that we're fully capable of beating them again. We're more than excited to go back to Waco next month. Did it feel good after the extended break to just be back on a basketball absolutely, court? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we've been playing basketball our whole life, so this is our, <clears throat> this is our new norm. For norm. <laughs> Mike, for you, this was the biggest crowd at, TC, at a TCU game since you've been here. What was the, the crowd like tonight? Uh, it was amazing having everybody here. And, you know, like you said, this is the full crowd, the biggest crowd I've had since I've been here. Obviously, last year, no one, almost no one could come. So um, it was good. You know, I like those moments, you know, big crowds, big games, especially against the number one team. And, um, I played good, but we all played good. Um, I feel like we could have, you know, played better in the second half. Um, I obviously wanted to come in with the win, but. So, Mike, with the wrist, it just on your shot, or were there some ball handling issues, or was it just shooting? Uh, it hurt everything. You know, I couldn't really flick it when I was dribbling. I lost it a couple times because I couldn't really do everything I wanted to do. Um, it's sore right now, but, you know, we got a couple days I can rest, uh, get treatment, and come back better for uh, Wednesday at Kansas State. Any other questions for these guys? Okay, thanks.